Okay, this is how you correct a latency or a lag, uh, an offset, sync error, whatever you want to call it in Audacity. Um, I'm going to fire up Audacity. i um, going to import, go to a file, then import, import audio, and I'm going to pull a drum track out that I recorded using um, hydrogen. Just regular old drum track. Got a click track in front of it, some drums. Alright, good enough. So now what we need to do is go to edit, down to preferences at the bottom. Uh, go to your recording and latency correction. Put that at zero. Hit OK. Now we're going to hit record. And what I've done is I've looped this thing through so that basically my. Stop. Basically, what I've done is I've looped it through. So I am recording. I went from my output right back into the input and I'm recording the exact same drum track although it's a little bit hotter you can tell and uh, so what we have if we zoom in here a bit hit the little zoom thing and zoom in <coughs> you can tell it's offset you play it it's offset annoying as all hell anywho so what we want to do is zoom in as close as you can get. I like to go to the first first click of the click track. And you can see where this is lined up. It's about 0.15. We'll zoom in a little bit more. This thing's starting right about, I'd say what, 0 0.17, 171. 70. So it's, that's in milliseconds. Uh, so we'll type in, uh, uh, let's say, 0.172. Good enough. Or 172 milliseconds. So go back to edit. Go to preferences again at the bottom. Go to your recording where we turn this uh, latency to zero. What we want to do is say negative 172. Forget about the decimal point because it's already figure it in milliseconds. Hit OK and that should make the thing jump that far every time you record. So let's get rid of this track that we just recorded. We'll try it again. I'm still looped. You can still see that it's recording behind but when I hit stop it'll jump to the correct spot. So now we're all lined up. If I hit play, we're lined up pretty good. You can mess around with this thing until you get it synced up pretty well. But uh, that's that's pretty good. Let's zoom in here. It'll let you do it. Yeah. I might have zoomed in a little bit too far. There we go. Hit play. So, anyways, we're zoomed in. Everything seems to be checking out. It's on sync, so we don't want that track anymore. Uh, let's just test it out. Bring out Mr. Guitar here. <clears throat> uh, I hit record. Okay, good enough, <clears throat> good enough. You saw it jump back, so we should be in sync now. We hit play, what do we get? We get my guitar really hot, that's what we get. But it's in sync. So, not too bad. Uh, might want to lay down a bass track or something. I don't have a bass. I'm gonna grab immediately just for this demonstration. So we'll just do a track, uh, hit record. I'll turn the distortion off the guitar and hit. Uh, 
Okay, and again, you see it jump back, and we should be in sync. Again, very hot. Should adjust my levels a little bit better. But so, it should work so forth, so on. Every time you try to do something, so if you throw in a solo or whatever. It I hit stop, well, you can watch it jump back. Boom, jumps right back to where it should be. So, everything synced up. Uh, everybody's sound card's different. They're gonna have a different lag. So that's why you kinda go through and set it to zero. And uh, hope this helps you out. I'd be synced up a little bit better if it wasn't for, you know, a couple of beers. So, hope this helps everybody out.